You're watching 8 bit days a week, and I'm gonna be playing another shoot 'em up game. This is Strikers 1945 2. The arcade running on the PlayStation Classic. And, um. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, this had a. Uh, PS1 port as well? Work. Always mistaking the first button. So, yes, as with my other games, arcade games that I played that had actual PS1 port. Uh, once again, there's an advantage that this doesn't have any loading. It's just that the you have lesser options, I guess. But you have a literal uh, perfect port. Because it is the arcade version you're running. And not like a uh, port, I guess. Ah, but yeah, there are some issues. When there's too much things on screen, you get a hit on the performance. Like when I used my special there. So shoot em up fans, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this game already. In fact, I think this got ported to like a lot of places, specifically Android <laughs> devices. Ah. All right. The joys of having unlimited continues. Wow, I wish I could speed up here, there doesn't seem to be a speed up, power up or something. So anyway, as I mentioned, I know that there was like an Android or iOS port of this game where you just move your ship around and it does the shooting automatically. Unless I'm um, mistaking it for another shooting game, since I know there were a lot of uh, bullet hell ports on iOS, Android, like uh, this one, Gunbird. I know Dot on Patchy also got one.
So sometimes my memories start to get mixed up already. Oof. More tokens. There it is, frame drops. Yeah, so I'd guess this isn't the perfect arcade conversion. I mean, the arcade wouldn't have those. Well, I don't know. I guess if you're if you need your shoot 'em up fix and your saving space on your thumb drive. This isn't uh, a bad alternative, I guess. Oh, just not good enough yet for bullet hell. I think that should be it for this video. This is Strikers 1945 2 Arcade running on the PlayStation Classic. Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.